What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at the Olympus Mons volcano. This time it's a satellite view, and it's taken from the Hope Probe from United Arab Emirates. And when you see this photo, you can see what looks like these weird features on this volcano. Are they natural? Are they unnatural, meaning intelligently made? And then we're going to take a quick glimpse at the Escreus Mons, because it looks like there's almost like a mining thing going on. At first you don't see it, but then you enhance it and bring the stuff out, Again, some rather interesting features. Let's just jump right into this, shall we? All right, you can see right here, the site is UAE or United Arab Emirates, okay? This photo here is pretty much what I want to show you. It's just slightly different angle. Basically the same photo, though, and you'll see what I'm talking about, right? Now, it's taken many different photos, and you can see it says uh, five remarkable images captured by Emirates Mars mission, Hope Probe, right? It says the orbiter has recorded significant amounts of data since it arrived in February. Of course, this is prior, of, but you can see right here, February 9th, 2022 of this year. Now, when we have a look at this, like I said, we're going to see some really interesting features. Let's just jump right into Photoshop, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. All right, you can see right here, this is a pretty cool photo, actually. It's pretty neat, but censored as always, right? Now, on the right-hand side, on the lower right, we have R.C. Mons. The one up from that in the middle is Apavinus Mons. And, of course, on the top is Ascreus Mons. Now, I think these right here, there's two smaller ones right here. you got this one here. That one there is Biblis Thulis. And you have this other right here, which is Ulysses Patera. Really kind of funky names. I don't know where they come up with these, but regardless, right? Okay, so we're going to try to get the colors more natural and see what happens. Hmm, doesn't look as quite as reddish. Notice they call these clouds, of course, at the top of the photo, and you can see it right here. They call them clouds. I think it's an atmosphere and clouds. Now, you can see the difference. That doesn't really change them. The blue stays blue, but look at here on the planet. It actually looks a little bit more natural. Doesn't look as weird. Now, before we do anything to this photo, let's go right into this, because I think you folks will find this pretty interesting. Like right here, this object right here seems to be sticking out of what looks like an overhang. You folks see that? Pretty interesting. Look underneath. You can see what looks like weird features. Parts going up like this. You can see it just barely in the darkness. We can see this right here. Weird features sticking out from under what looks like an overhang type thing, right? Okay. Here's the other thing I find interesting. Again, we're not going to do anything to the photo. In fact, we'll just leave it raw. Okay. Zoom in. Check out the features in the middle here. You have what looks like this area here. Almost looks like it's doing this. And then you have these two separate, what almost looks like separate craters on top. Now, again, when I do this, you can see this one almost looks octagon shaped, right? Check this out. Look at the shape of that particular one. Okay. Now, check out the lines here. Right. Go like this. Check this out. Look at the shape of this area. Okay. And then all of the pieces in between here, which looks like a more of a purplish color. Right there. Now, again, let's get rid of the color. Let's back out of this. You'll see something over here as well. It doesn't really look natural up here in this area. Have a look at this. And again, this is before we do anything to this photo right here. Not going to do a thing. Zoom in. Check that out. Does that look natural to anybody? I'm seeing what looks like two vertical lines and what looks like two roundish features. What could this possibly be? There it is right there, the original. Okay, back out. And then we go back in. Zoom in right here. Look at some of the lines in here, folks. Okay, so without further ado, let's just jump right into the enhancement. And I want you guys to check these features out. Again, you guys get the last say whether you believe this is natural or non-natural. Okay, all right. 
Let's zoom into this now. Check this out. Look at some of the features here, folks. Again, these features in here. All down in this area, here, including this piece here, okay? And all of the areas down again in here, which everything looks like they just colored all the same color. And more importantly, this very center, okay? I find it really interesting because when I looked at this, just this alone, have a look at the, the what looks like land cutout right here the shape of some of these pieces of land, it looks constructed to me. When I seen this, I saw this doing this, and what looks like smaller features in this corner right here. But again, we have all of these here inside on top of this volcano, which again, I'll remind you that's the largest in our solar system, okay? So you have to ask yourself, what is that? Because I can show you this right here you can still see these features in there. I don't have to do a whole lot to this photo and I can see that. Just bring it down a little bit and look at the features carefully, folks. Have a look, check that out. Let's make it black and white, docking it up a little bit so we can get a little bit more detail out. I'm not so sure this is all natural features. Now I'm not saying this volcano doesn't exist. Of course it does. What I'm saying is, is it possible because it's been dormant for, according to NASA, millions of years, is it possible that they just built on it? We built on volcanoes here on Earth. So it's not out of the question. Check out this feature. Looks like a large pipe or some kind of rectangular structure or something right there. Can you see that? Lighten it up a little bit. And guess what? It's still there. Okay. All right. Now let's bounce up over here. And this is pretty interesting. Let's see what we got here. Again, we have that feature in the upper left corner. Check out the lines, folks. Now, keep in mind, we're also looking at centering. So we have to try to cut through that. We have to get around the manipulation and pull out what we can. But again, this feature alone on the left-hand side, and you can see it right there, right there on the left. Black and white, check that out. Not sure what this is over here. Me folks, this looks like there's a lot of something living here at the base of this volcano. That's what I'm seeing. There's too many shapes in there that look intelligently made. You can see what looks like a square right up in here. And of course, like I said, what looks like a octagon shaped crater in there as well. If you look at this carefully, this one here, like I pointed out earlier, right in here, it almost looks like a disc with like something oval sitting right there. See it? I'm seeing features, folks, that doesn't look natural. And it looks like they built again at the bottom of this volcano, right? All right. Now let's take a look at Ascreus Mons, which was taken again by the Mariner 9. And you can see here, check this out. Why does it look like, in my mind, I'm seeing what looks like layering. You can see this is like cut out and appears to be layers. But now take note of this. We have a lot of these whited out areas. We seem to see that a lot in a lot of these photos. It's almost like they want you to believe that the walls of these craters are volcanoes. Doesn't really matter what they could be because we've seen this on the moon and we've seen this on Mars. They always seem to be bright, like they're metallic. Are they metallic or is it something they're trying to hide? Let me show you something interesting when I looked at this photo. Okay, here's the photo right here. Okay, let's take this one step at a time and I'm gonna show you something. First, you're gonna notice something right here and I noticed it right off the bat. Looks like something square or rectangular. And what you'll notice is a couple of the features up on this higher ridge in this volcano. I'm not so sure 
that these are natural. And I'm not so sure that this is a crater at all, or meaning volcano crater. I think there's much more to it. Something tells me that this is a mining site. We're going to bring it down, especially those white areas. Again, notice this right here. Now let's blur it up and then bring it out. Let's just enhance this all the way. Now, have a look at these objects right there. And more importantly, these areas right here. Let's zoom into this. Folks, look at what is that? I'm seeing what looks like something that's been manufactured right there. You can see those two areas. Again, fuzzy. Nothing really there to see. We already started bringing down the brighter areas around the rim of this volcano. And right there, look at the difference. Blur it up a little bit, get rid of the this grid pattern over. You can see the grid. I mean, clearly you can see that. No camera's going to take a picture that looks like that unless they're trying to put a grid over there to fool your eyes. So try to get through the grid. Not going to get too much, but if you blur this up a little bit and then bring up the white pieces that are there, you start to see these what look like separate items. See that? Shop it up a little bit. See, I'm going to go back and forth. That's a little shopper right there. And check these pieces out, folks. And something tells me there's much more going on the floor in the center of this volcano as well. But again, right here, check those out. That, to me, and you can see the little features down in the lower part inside this little circle. Looks like little squares, rectangular pieces, and so on and so forth. What is going on here? Natural or not? Of course, you guys can be the judge. What's going on here? It literally looks like some shapes that look intelligently made and not natural. I don't know. What do you think is going on here, folks? And there you go. Folks, I see these features and they don't look natural to me. Is it possible that most of them are? Of course. You can see at the base of that volcano, like we do here on Earth, people build cities, so on and so forth. It looks like squares, 90 degree angles, many of those laying around. You look in the very center at the top of this volcano, Olympus Mons, and you can see what looks like shapes that don't look natural either. It's just weird. Is it possible that this volcano is laying dormant so long that they decided, hey, why not build on it? What's the worst going to happen? Of course, we've done that here on Earth, and you see how that turned out. If it's been dormant for millions of years, chances are, not always, of course, that it will stay dormant. You guys be the judge. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm curious as to what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, at this point, there will be a Friday evening hangout at 4 p.m. Eastern time. If you're new to the channel, jump on there because we have all kinds of, you know, subjects we talk about, mostly space. But we talk about a lot of different things that somehow connect to like space subjects or something along them lines. I think you'll enjoy it. So if you got the time, like I said, join us at 4 p.m. Eastern time and we'll see you there. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.